Hi, welcome to my channel. If you don't know me, my name is Kat. And this is, today is November 17th. This video is coming out a lot later. I want to start, I want to, I want to start a website. And I, uh, I'm going to do stickers. And really the main thing that I wanted to do was like planner-esque stickers. But I'm going to show you um, the other set that I did. So I have like, I, I'm going to do them based off of like my cats and whatnot. So this is Frank. I found Frank outside of a pizza restaurant two years ago, this upcoming December. So like, I just... I think a lot about that when I when I see Frank. So this is like a sardine pizza. Everyone thinks it's anchovies, but it's sardines. And I was gonna do like a sticker of his face. That's mozzarella. That's his eye. And I need a. I wanted to draw more of him. I just I'm not very confident in my drawing skills just yet. But this is this is kind of the main the main shtick. You know, I have like the weekly stickers and I have like these little cubes I'd like to do where, you know, you can just put it at the beginning of the week and you don't need one for every day. And then, but then I was like, okay, these could be like little pointers, like little bullet points for when um, someone's like writing notes down or something. And then, you know, I, I made little sticker reminders being like, you know, take your meds, clean out your litter box, do your dishes. That's just a drink your water one. I haven't quite decided. Do I just want to leave that blank? And like someone can like write like how many cups of water they drink that day or something. And then the next page, you know, I did uh, all these numbers and whatnot. I really like this idea. These are some stars. This is like my signature. My, I don't, I don't know how else to call it. Like it's my little signature doodle right now. Like there's all these little stars. I figured they'd just be decoration. And then like. You know, if you needed to make, like, a phone call that week, there's a little phone. And then, you know, for me, I need it. I need a, re like, refill your meds sticker. So, this is basically kind of what I want to do. And I love, love this. I love the cohesion. I love the color palette. I just, I really love it. And I started trying working on stars, and it just, it wasn't, it wasn't working. It wasn't quite working how I want it to because like every time that I, I started sitting down to draw something I had another idea and then I had another idea and I had another idea and it's like this isn't very this isn't cohesive like I went to go do this and I I just I just didn't like it I didn't like I didn't like how I drew these I didn't like I just I really didn't enjoy this at all so I want to try this again I want to try this again and we're gonna see what we can come up with in like at like 20 to 30 minutes and we're gonna hang out and talk while I do this so grab a drink grab a snack and let's get into it okay so the main thing that I, I'm just gonna work on is like the weekly planner stickers because what I want to do as like for decoration is because I think of Star as like the mother, like the, the the elder of our group. So it's going so she's gonna have a lot of like constellations. She's going to have a lot of like stars that are my favorite on her sticker sheet. And I can't really draw all of that while I'm on camera because I need to use my phone for image for reference of images because I'm not I ain't fancy. We got one, we got one device doing all this work. The filming, the editing, the uploading. It is all my cell phone and it is doing a great job. So let's work on the weekly planner. I did enjoy like the rainbow I did on this. I just didn't like the text. So I'm just going to go ahead and not worry about the font right now, but I do want to like kind of redo the colors a little bit I don't want it to be as um I don't know like as bright or like as as bold because I liked the main thing I liked about the other one where is it is it's it's easy on the eyes 
that was the main thing. This is a very easy, cohesive palette. I love it. I enjoy it. So let's go ahead and try that again. Okay, I want a blue. I like the dark blue, but Star's two-year adoption anniversary was about two weeks ago for the house. And it was kind of crazy just realizing how much can change in two years because the same day that I adopted Star officially was technically the day that me and my ex-boyfriend um, got together, my most recent boyfriend. And it was kind of crazy just like how it's like, okay, yeah, like I'm, I'm living alone again. I, I'm not, I didn't get married on Halloween because we were going to get married this year. And I just, it was just really weird, but I still have the cat. I've actually, I've technically have known Star for, I want to say six months longer than went, than before I adopted her and whatnot. I was renting this condemned house from a landlord in my town and it was Valentine's Day nonetheless. I had invited someone over for dinner and they stood me up and I went out and I was like, you know, I was feeling like really shitty about myself at that point because I was like, I was trying to like handle a lot of stuff by myself at that point. And getting stood up on this day was just not even really all that good. But it was like, okay, I I went outside to go do some yard work. And when I came out, I had all these, like, weeds that were, like, you know, three or four feet tall and all that. And all of a sudden, I just hear this little meow. And I look up, and there's this, there's just this, this sweet fluffy orange black white cat walking towards me and I just I fell in love instantly I tried bringing her inside that day I fed her but it was like really obvious that like she did not want anything to do with me and that's when I kind of realized and I found out I realized a few months later that a lot of that probably had to do with the fact that she had uh, kittens because you know I saw her for a few a few days after that and then she just completely disappeared and the next time I saw her was I want to say in August and in August I had Jupiter who had her four kittens and Star just randomly reappeared in my yard and in tow she had three kittens she had this little torty that I named Beetlejuice she had this, um, oh, I want to say it was like a tan tabby that I named Ganymede. And then, and then she had Orion, which was this like yellow, like tabby. He was, he was the only boy. And I had basically... I, I was just in awe because she brought them to me and it was like I was trying my best to like domesticate them and like try to like treat um, their eye infections but they the kittens were just so I want to say like feral they they started getting better when I would bring food out and like Star would come up to me being like no no no, no. like this is this is the good human this is the great human and her kittens like would warm up to me for like a day and then it was just it was just a constant cycle of this isn't working like and then Ganymede and Orion ran off basically Ganymede um paired up with a tomcat in town and Orion just he went off to go find his own territory Beetlejuice stayed in the area for a while and I tried I tried so hard to get her before I moved out that summer that following summer but it just she she just kind of disappeared so it's just like okay I it really sucks to say but like I, I I can't I can't get Beetlejuice I can't take her which really sucks 
found out like that October when I was in the middle of like buying my house and whatnot that Star actually belonged to someone that I know. There was a day that like I was following her around the neighborhood because I was like, okay, because these kittens had disappeared and then she disappeared for like a month. So I thought she got pregnant again and I thought she had more kittens. So when she's at my doorstep meowing and like wanting me to like follow her and whatnot, I'm like, okay, I'm going to find kittens. Well, she's leading me to this house that's like right next door to me that my landlord also owned. And my neighbor, the one that's like uh, on the other side of that house, was outside with her dogs. And that's when she goes, that's Boots. And I go, who is Boots? And that's when she explains to me that this cat was my landlord's cat that he threw out when he left the house. Because he evidently also lived in the house that was in between us at, at one point, too. And she's like, yeah, that's, yeah, he had her when she was a kitten. And, like, when he moved, he just, he just threw her out. And I'm like, you are kidding me. She's like, nope. And I flat out told her, I was like, well, if she disappears after I move out, just know that, like, I took her with me. And she's like, I'm, I am perfectly okay with that. I'm happy to know she's got a great life ahead of her. So it was just kind of like, okay, um, that's like really shitty to like now know and learn. So that was another reason to just not like my landlord anymore. <laughs> it's like, I honestly don't know how old Star is. Star acts a lot older than the other ones. So I want to say she's in, she is, she's almost a senior. It's like she's starting to open up behaviorally at this house, but it's just kind of like, oh my god, I have a granny kitty, and if any of my cats do pass away, I believe she would be the first one to, just because I, I truly think she's one of the older ones. I do have, like, a couple of other cats that are seniors, like Comet, I, Comet is Comet's getting close to 10 now. Frank, from what I understand, he was 11 when I got to him. So, for all I know, he's at least like 12 to 13 now. So, I have a lot of cats that are getting up there. They're getting, and I get a little nervous thinking about it, being like, oh my god, these cats are all gonna die soon. And I'm just, uh, I'm just like, but it's okay. Because they're not dead right now. So, that's the, that's the main, <laughs> the main point. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen like a blue prescription bottle bottle but my pharmacy does have these and it I I actually get a little like chuckle when they hand me one because it's like okay um we're still doing these it's like I I get a little I, I always chuckle a little whenever I get another one okay I have I have that one it's like, I keep looking back on this because I just, I just loved, I just loved this. <laughs> I really, I really loved it. Also, like, I had little pills on this last spread to, like, show, like, okay, did you take your pills? What time did you take your pills? Like, mo most of, like, this, like, planning for the sticker designs is stuff that I would use. It's like, if anything, this is stuff that I'm going to use. And if I ever get to the point where I can make, like, an actual planner... That'd be cool. That'd be great. But for right now, it's, um, we're just going to do this, to say the least. I want to do some to-do lists. So let's grab that one. I really like this blue. I didn't think I was, I didn't, I really like this blue. And I, this is the color that I want to use on the sticker designs the most. And I'm really happy with this, with this choice and whatnot. Star is, Star is like really sweet, really cute. Basically, um, so I adopted these three kittens last last summer 
literally the day before I found out I was pregnant with my son, Winston. And so Jupiter had originally imprinted on these kittens and she went psycho kitty on everyone, which meant she, she imprinted. And then the only people that could get around, get near those kittens were me and my ex-boyfriend. Um, his children could not go near them. The dogs couldn't, the other cats. It kind of got to a point where I had to basically put her in a isolation by herself because it was just kind of like, okay, you, you are going a little psycho. But then after we did that, Star started doing the same thing, but she wasn't as aggro. She was just very nurturing. The kittens just started nursing on her like all the time and I'm just sitting there like oh my god and I kept waiting I kept waiting for her to go like psycho kitty she only went psycho kitty on like a few of the cats but she didn't do it to the humans she didn't do it to the dogs so we were like okay whatever and to this day um two of the kittens are actually still very affectionate towards star like they're her children and then there's this one, Oreo, who is only only friendly with Jupiter, but Jupiter is like, she now hates them. She just really loved the baby, the baby era with them. That was that was her shtick. She she was just like, no, I love babies. You've grown up though, so get the fuck away from me. Is basically <laughs> what went down. And I just, oh my god. Um, it's like Star and Axel are very, are very like adorable. They're very mother, mother and son duo a lot of times. And it's like, you know, I do catch, you know, Bunny coming up to, to Star still like trying to groom her and whatnot. But, you know, it just, it was very cute. And like, after that, Star just really started to open up personality wise. She started becoming very like friendly and whatnot. Oh, it's like my ADHD medication. Oh my god. I'm starting this art business a lot because like a I I feel like I'm at that point with my art that like, you know, I'm I'm good at it to where like, okay, I can I can probably start selling this and feel good about it. And it's like, and the main reason that, like, I'm going down this path of, like, okay, I'm making, like, planner sticker sheet stuff. Or, like, I don't use a planner. I just use all, I just do a lot of my planning in my journal. And, like, the reason why, like, I'm doing it like this is because, like, okay, like, I want to make something that, like, I will use. And it's like, and I feel like I would use, I feel like I would definitely use some stuff like this. I, I like this idea. I keep going back to like this because it's like, I don't, I don't know. I'm still like figuring it out. Another thing I notice a lot about my artwork is I don't draw in cool tones that often. I'm a very like bright person. But I use a lot of warmer tones like yellows and reds. It's like, and if I do use blue or like a cooler tone, it's not the overall color, the overall like, this is just like an accent at that point. So it's always a little fun to like get out of my, my comfort zone with this kind of stuff. Something that's cracking me up the most about this litter box design that I've created is that in this set particular, it's the only one that actually matches the litter boxes that are in my house uh, with the, with a blue bottom and a gray top. And it's just like, oh my God, I, I didn't quite plan this, but it was just like when I went to go draw this earlier, I was like, this is like the, this is like the best, like nice looking litter box. And I'm like, well, no kidding. It, it's the litter box in your house. <laughs> I really, so I'm using an Artix acrylic paint pen I really like these I do but the only thing that I'm not a fan of right now with this company is if you run out of one you can't just go and buy one you have to buy a whole nother set and I'm just over here like I really don't want to do that 
But at the same time, I feel like I probably should because just that way I already have it in the house. And that way when I run out, it's like, okay, I can just go buy. I can just go grab one out of the, the other set now and put it in this one. And it's like, that's really the only thing where it's just like, ah, I don't. I just, I just don't know, guys. I don't like it. I like it a lot. I do. But when you're, when you're running out, it also becomes streaky as all fuck. So it's just, I have Frank in the studio with me. Like, I have the door closed because I have, like, I have, like, okay, when you have a house with as many cats as I, you don't know what, you, you don't have peace in it anymore. It's just, it's always, it's always just loud. To say the least. And it does get very overstimulating some days. But then there's other days where you're just like, no, like, you know, this is okay. I, I'm fine. I'm cool. But then, like, other days happen and it's like, I am not okay. Okay, the only thing I don't, well, okay, what I like more is, like, this is more accurate. However, it's like, if I do text, it'll have to be there and I'll have to get, I need to get, like, a white jelly pen. The reason that I don't have one is because, like, the ones that I did have were always, like, ass, which is so weird because every time I see anyone use them online, they are always praising them. Like, I love the white jelly pen, and I'm like, okay, wh why, why can't, why can't I have a good jelly pen? Like, the fuck? But no, um... So it's like earlier when I started filming this, I had like, I had about like four or five and then I had Dust Bunny. Dust Bunny is the bane of my existence. I don't know what her deal is. She keeps like, like scratching at the carpet and like, but she always just does it right behind me or like when I'm in the room. She doesn't like, isn't, I don't know how often she does it when like I'm not in the room, but it just, it just really got on my nerves today where it's like, okay, you were going out of this room while I am filming. We are not, I am not doing this with you today, baby girl. Love you, but I am not doing this with you. I've had Star for two, for almost two years, but I didn't get her spayed until this February because this was like the first time that I like, I could afford it. Basically, when I got pregnant, I knew what that meant. So I worked a buttload of overtime to the point where it was like, oh my God. I cannot keep doing this. I ended up leaving work like a week or two early because I had basically just worked myself to the bone. And when you're almost like 10 months pregnant, it that all actually really hurts and it sucks to say the least. <laughs> so I ended up leaving early and I kind of regret it. I do because I look back on it and it's like, no, I probably could have kept doing this for like another like few weeks but even my ex at the time was just like no you you need to you need to stop you're you're done you're done and you're just like oh i should not have used this on the it's fine it's fine because you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do this And I got, but when I, but I had an appointment beforehand, like to get her updated on her vaccinations because I did, I did two different vets, one to get all the vaccinations and one to go get her spade because the one in town was having like this like special that basically didn't really do much, but I, I try to, I try to keep a, a positive note on it, but at the same time, I'm just like, really fucking really but when I went to go get her vaccinated, um, the doctor had, had met her and she picked her up and she was like, Hey, does this cat like being hell at all? And I'm like, actually, she like freaks the fuck out and really hates it. What's up? And that's when she puts my hand on Star's stomach. And it turns out she had like this little, like little spot on her abdominal wall where like it was like a little hole inwards it wasn't like exposed or nothing but just like a little dip so it was treated like a little hole so when the doctor said that i felt it i just went oh my god so that was another additional like i think like 80 dollars on her especially when i left to, when i was leaving like the vet to like after i spayed her i i am i spent like 500 dollars that day 
when it was only supposed to be like two to three hundred but like that was just like something that like even i'm just sitting there going this was supposed to be like supposed to be like a special what what is happening i i didn't really i i haven't really been back to the vet since that one in particular since that all went down when i got my other three spayed and neutered because i had to get three more done like i got one done in august i got one done in september and then i just got oreo done this week so I've done, so I have gotten seven animals spayed this year and that's a lot. And even the vet in Larned, when they were like, do you need to make another appointment for any more? And I was like, no, this is the last one. We are done. We, we are done. And she's like, oh my God, like, I'm so happy for you. And I'm just like, thank you. I am almost certain. I am, I am a conversation topic in that, in that vet. I'm pretty sure whenever anyone realizes how many animals I have, like the actual number, they just go, what the hell? I revealed how many I had to this guy that like, I, I have a, I have a thing for. And uh, evidently the first time I said it, he thought I said four. And when I told him the real number, he's uh, actually, I'm naming them all off, you know? And he's like, I thought you had four. I went, no, I have this many. And he just went, oh. And then immediately was like, have you ever thought about like rehoming any of them? And I was like, I've tried, trust me. And they're all still here. So it's not happening, bud. What I really love about Star is her little ears. She has like the tiniest, tiniest ears. She's, she's so cute. Oh my God. I love that cat. I... Uh, I, I literally think about, like, if I ever had to rehome her, I, I just kind of, like, fall apart being like, no, this isn't, this isn't happening. And then there was a period where, like, my ex was probably going to take some of the cats, and that was one he wanted to keep. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my god, I, no, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? I want to do like I want I want to do like a really funny I want like a big like a phone with like big numbers on it for her but it's like okay um we're just gonna do sideways Cause like I think like old little lady when I see when I see star so it's like okay I want to do like one of those phones that has like the big ass numbers on it so you can tell what the number is even if like you don't have your readers on and then I want to do I think I'm just gonna do like a a purple phone. Oh, I fucked up because like, okay, I know how I, I, okay, I, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Cause like with a self, with a phone like that, it usually has like a screen showing you that you have made the call. So like. It's not going to be like a dial up phone, like I was going to just draw. So, okay, but that means that that needs to be like way bigger. I'm at like a good stopping point with you guys. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the rest of this spread off camera and I'm gonna ink and this next clip that you're gonna see is the finished page. And I'll see you then, bye. This is what we got, what we're working with. I. I want to add more, I do, and I want to add more to all of the, the sets, but it's just, I wanted at least like starters. Something different that I did was I put like a little pill tab thing that you can put like at the bottom of your planner page or journal, 
And like I, I figured maybe print out more of these, like enough for like the week, like one per. It's like or like do an AM and PM pill. I, I'm not hundred percent certain, but you know, I got everything inked out. I wanna I kinda wanna redo this a little bit better because this right here was a little squinched up because I was like, okay, I can just do nine, but then I was like, no, that looks a little weird to me personally, but I think this looks weirder. But I like this. I do. I actually like the whole blue. I don't do I don't do stuff like this, like this color scheme very often. So I like it. I think I'm gonna change the purple though, because it's like I like the purple, but I don't like it enough to be like it's gonna be a big color like that. And that is not even attached to that. So <laughs> That's that's it for today's video. Said today is November 17th. We you guys are not going to see this video on my platform until probably like January because I'm I keep telling myself by in January, February, I am going to have the website up and going and I am going to have the sticker sheets all set out and whatnot. And it's like and in the next video of me working on this project, I'll show you stars like normal sticker sheet. Because I do actually want to like have like like the whole constellation thing. I want to have a few of the stars slash planets that I really like. Because I always just, that's that's just what I think Star is. She's just, I just think bright, colorful, and like this whole like space theme really. <laughs> but anyway, that's going to be it for today. If you like this video and you want to continue on following this journey of me making art to sell um check me out on my youtube check me out on my instagram um uh, it's gonna be all linked down in the description and whatnot and i hope to see you guys then i hope that you know before this video comes out i'm still very productive in posting my videos as ever because i am basically posting at least one to two videos every other day now so i'm getting i'm getting up there to say the least and whatnot. So with that, I'm going to uh, stop there. And yeah, like I said, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.